walked he was in there. Now you bring up the backgrounds, I mean, this is a serious production here. Everything's perfect here. So I had to clean that up. Um, anyways, welcome back. Horsing around, always horsing around, small town life, small farm life, whatever that you want to call this crazy channel. I'm your host, along with all my cats and my crazy horses. What I want to do is yesterday I went ahead and uh, got my barn even more ready for winter. What happened was I looked out the window and realized that it was an absolute disaster. So I went ahead and cleaned his window after I had already used my little handy dandy broom and gotten rid of all the spider webs and the cobwebs that come from fall. I mean, who would wanna to wanna to look through that? So, I'm cleaning windows today. I just started. I'll show you when I'm done. Look at this one. The difference between this one and this one is that I can get to the outside. So you have to have these bars, obviously, so that he doesn't uh, break the window with either his feet or his nose or something like that. I don't have this. Some barns have that where that's just an opening and they can see outside. Um, I don't, but you want your, your bars ideally four inches apart. That way babies can't get their feet through it. Um, stallions can't break them. So I have a hard time getting my fingers through there to get it clean, but I also can't pull out that window, which is a tilt window, but I can't tilt it out far enough um, to get the screen done. So all I do is go outside and sweep it off with the broom. But this one really gets clean. So back to it. Okay, so the lighting is horrible, but and I don't know how I would put my phone right and show you how I do this, but see how gross it is in there? I'm um, cleaning that out. I'm gonna try and take this screen out. Well, I had a lot of success. I have the shade right there. Yeah, I mean, not the shade, I have the screen right there. So I'll go ahead and clean out these joints. So I have this handy dandy like brush. Wrong way. It's very satisfying <laughs> cleaning this stuff up. All right, so I had some really good success cleaning down in there. I am questioning why I need to put my screen back, but I think I'm going to anyway. So next, onto the window. Ta-da, it's back together. Locked and everything, super clean, looks great. I'm back. Okay, so what I used yesterday, because Crescendo, when I say he was amazing, it, film does not do the boy justice. The horse loves himself, he loves people, he loves me, sorry, it's just the way that it is. Loves to show off, he loves to do all those things. So yesterday I took my little, it's just a little bag tied onto the end of a whip here. And I stood just right here and I was just like, okay. I did that a couple of times and you'll see exactly what he does. So I took him, I wrapped his legs um, and I threw him out here. And I've been working him pretty steady. Uh, I was supposed to go to a horse show uh, and leave Friday. Today's Tuesday. So we were supposed to go to a horse show on Friday. So the boy's in pretty good shape. He's got some shoes on. Um, he's ready to show off. I went ahead, I had had him clipped and all ready to go. And you'll see it. I, I did do some videoing of him from the outside of the arena and I was here all by myself. So I didn't have any help or I would have gone in and could have made it more of a fancy production. Um, back to the reason I wrap his legs. The reason that I wrap his legs is simple. He has on his show shoes, um, to get ready to go on Friday, which of course we aren't going anymore because the horse show was canceled. 
Uh, that was from lack of entries. Oh, Ben's is coming to say hello. <laughs> He's so sweet. You want me to hold you? Is that what you want? Okay. So, wow, the wind has picked up today. Um, so I wrap his legs simply because he has on show shoes and I don't want him to come up and have one foot knock the other, uh, knock his other leg and, and give himself like a little owie or anything in here because then that sets back his training. You'll see, he does some slide and stops and some spins and some jumps and, and does silly things. And so when he does it, there's always the possibility that he could whack his leg. So I turn him loose. And I went in and I just cleaned his stall like normal because I clean his stall every single day. Um, and then I started looking around his stall and I was like, gosh, it's kind of grimy and kind of, you know, yucky looking. Um, so I went ahead and kind of stripped it. I put the some stall refresher in it. Hold on, I'll get it. I'm back. It, it's just a... And it's dirty, it doesn't look like I really refreshed him. But, you know, so I take it and um, it's like a super fine pellet. And so what I do is I just put, I mean, it's like sand. So I just put a whole, I just sprinkle it in his, in his stall um, and it just refreshes it. Uh, I put it kind of where maybe the pee is run through down onto his mats. Um, and just gives it a nice clean feeling in there, which is always fun to have. But I'll go ahead and I'll show you what I did with him yesterday. Um, it was a super productive day. I was really, really happy and he looked fantastic. He would have looked amazing going to that horse show on Friday. Um, and he would have been really excited because he would have seen a lot of people besides just me. And that's what he loves to do is see people. <laughs> so thanks for watching today. Um, Ben's and I say, oops, sorry. Benz and I say thanks for watching today, and I hope that you have a great day. Enjoy my videos. Right, Benz? Say, say, thank. say thank you.